Hi, I have in front of me here an AHD uh, analog high definition 720p 1.3 megapixel white dome camera. Um, it comes with 15 meter IR and has a 3.6 millimeter uh, fixed lens. Um, it's backward compatible, so there's a little uh, toggle here which allows us to come along and we can flick it from AHD back to uh, standard and it means that we can make this backward compatible with previous versions of um, DVRs that can't handle the high resolution offered by this. So the whole AHD, um, which I'll talk about a little bit towards the end of the video, it's a huge step forward from where we were previously in terms of um, picture resolution and it's offering picture comparable to what IP cameras are in terms of it's in into the megapixels now so it's very very impressive. The format of the video is simply going to be uh, that um, we'll talk about exactly what comes in the outer box, we'll give a detailed overview of the camera itself and then we'll come along and we'll get into a demonstration of the camera which we have running here as well and how to flick between the different settings on it. So you can see the outer box here with a user manual which is in English with a template which would use for marking out a wall for mounting the camera. So it would mount it obviously on a wall or a ceiling and then what we have three plugs and three screws we'd use uh, for mounting of it, uh, the anchor points. There's a 2.1 millimeter um, power socket here and we connect that directly off of um, uh, here. So if we actually look at the connections here, even though it's high definition now, the connections etc is exactly at the same as we had previously. So you have BNC and also 2.1 millimeter. Uh, so if we look at the camera itself we can see our array of LEDs here and our fixed lens as well. Uh, if we look just at the base design of it here uh, we can just see that we can uh, it just can be adjusted and screwed off we'll say and it'll just allow us to lock this into position okay um, in terms of um, uh, the, the application or something like that generally people are using it we'll say in something like a reception area to cover we'll say an entrance uh, maybe the side of a house something like that <clears throat> that'd be a typical thing so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to show you the little toggle thing here so this allows us to press on it to bring up the menu left and right to make uh, menu selections and up and down to flick through the menu. What we're going to do here is, just off camera, I have um, a, a camera mounted on a tripod here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate the different options here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just bring up the menu. So I'll just flick down through. Um, we could go into a sub menu possibly. Or let's just change the setting here. And we could just go in here and uh, we could just change settings. Or uh, we could select here and um, flick into sub menus if they're available. And what we could do as well is I'll just come here and if we're worked away fully through the menu, we can simply exit out there. Okay. So typical things we'll be changing would be lens exposure, backlight, etc., like that. So there's a huge level of flexibility with it. So it's very much high-end camera to that extent. So I'm just going to exit out at that point. If we wanted to come along and change it from um, high definition to um, and uh, standard what I did is I just pushed over on the toggle to the left hand side and we can see it's come back now as panel and by pushing the opposite direction to the right if we just hold it for three seconds it'll flick over now it'll say video loss and it'll pop back up and now it's come back in so uh, the DVRs that we have are automatically adjusting for that so it just makes it cool in terms of we're able to come along and we're able to do um, uh, make it compatible with existing systems. What I'm going to do quickly now is just hop up. We're going to knock off the lights just to give you some idea of it. Our setup here isn't totally ideal because our camera is very, very close to um, our background, but it does give a, a thing. Hopefully, it's coming in reasonably well on the thing. But in terms of the, the thing, if we just come along here, you can see the, the adjustment is quite quick and the resolution is excellent on it. It's obviously given it night time black and white imagery on. Um, in terms of the AHD, we have a huge range of cameras apart from this one, and they're proven to be very popular for us simply because it's using existing technology, skills, cabling, etc., and allowing people to move into a much, much higher resolution thing. Pretty typical in terms of what people are doing is they're using, we'll say, uh, a base uh, AHD DVR and then have a mix of cameras on it. So for very important areas, which I do facial recognition, things like that, pick up reg numbers, they're using the AHD uh, technology. And other areas where they're just trying to detect movement, they're using um, cameras that are simpler uh, and all combined in a single system. Uh, a great feature of it is the fact that if we come along and we're trying to switch over from uh, this particular camera um, uh, or flick, flick over from um, a lower spec camera to an AHD camera. The 
cabling, the connectors, everything like that, the power unit's exactly the same. It's simply plug and play in terms of switching over. So it just makes the, the move over to AHD that much simpler for existing customers and professional installers. So that's it anyway, an overview of the AHD uh, 720p dome camera.